some noise for Ed McGonigal. Everybody. How are we doing? So uh, I was reading that uh, Dustin Diamond, who uh, played Screech on Saved by the Bell, is putting out his autobiography. Now, how, how mortified would you be if somebody walked into a room and found you reading Screech's autobiography? You'd have to shoot that person, burn the book, and then shoot yourself, because the shame would be way too great. Let me ask you this. Have you ever seen a guy who's really henpecked, he's really whipped, and his girlfriend is ugly? I mean, you, you can see a guy being whipped by a pretty girl, but by an ugly girl? That's, that's sort of like owning a Hyundai and putting a club on the steering wheel. <laughs> Dude, nobody's going to take it. Relax. Have a beer. Watch a football game. It ain't going anywhere. So uh, a friend of mine told me he likes to go to a sperm bank and make deposits because it's easy money. And he told me that I should start going to the sperm bank and make it easy money. And at first I was like, I don't know if I want to be associated with something like that. Then I started to think, Imagine if there were women out there buying my sperm. Then there could be a whole legion of angry, sarcastic midgets walking around out there <laughs> making smart ass comments and never having a girlfriend. That'd be just so fucking cool, you know. Just... So tomorrow I have an appointment at the sperm bank. I, I like to think I'm a giver. <laughs> Let me ask you this. Can you imagine how much pussy Hurricane Schwartz is going to get now that Dave Roberts is retiring? <laughs> <laughs> Hurricane is going to, going to be up to his neck and cooch. I mean, come on. You know, I, I'm, really not, I'm really disappointed. I think that Al Sharpton and Jesse Jackson are not doing their job. They're not doing their job. Because last week, Tiger Woods got attacked by a crazy white woman and they didn't say anything. I mean, crazy white chick swinging a golf club? Where was Al? Where was Jesse? You, you can't count on your heroes anymore. I don't know. I don't know what to say. So uh, I saw they were saying on the news that uh, Oprah Winfrey has been on television for 25 years. 25 years, and I thought to myself, man, you mean to tell me I've been avoiding Oprah Winfrey for 25 years? Well, time flies, you know, it just doesn't seem possible. A friend of mine offered me uh, tickets to go see a UFC event, Ultimate Fighting Championship, but I had to turn it down, you know, on account of I'm not gay. <laughs> uh, UFC is the new gay hotspot. I mean, Celine Dion concerts are so 1997. Just, you don't measure up. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, I appreciate that, that reaction. A friend of mine uh, got, recently got diagnosed with uh, erectile dysfunction. So the doctor put his wife on medical marijuana. He still can't get a boner, but she's too stoned to care. So what the hell, it sounds like a pretty good match. I was watching a piece on 60 Minutes where they were doing a story about suicide bombers in the Middle East. They were saying that their families, after these guys blow themselves up, their families get money. I was thinking, that, that's ridiculous. How could you take money for your family member committing suicide like that? And then I started to think about all my Irish cousins and uncles and never seeing them again and getting an envelope full of cash. Those A-Rads might be on a winning folding line. <laughs> might have hit the nail on the head. Thankfully, I'm done. Good night.